guys, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building my frozen waterfall house. Yes, this will be a house in the shape of a frozen waterfall. And in the interior I will use a lot of the new items that came with the new pack for The Sims 4 Star Wars Journey 2x2. Of course the new Star Wars pack got a lot of negative response. <laughs> But the build and buy items are really, really cool. Of course, a lot of these new items are Star Wars themed. But in this build, I wanted to show you that you can use them in a totally different style as well. But of course, you can see all that in this video. First of all, I'm starting this build off by creating the shape of the waterfall. My initial plan was to make just a waterfall shaped house, that frozen aspect came later. And the thing that inspired me to do this build was this picture. I came across it on a picture. Pinterest actually a couple of months ago I got it saved on my Pinterest account and I knew at some point I wanted to do something with it. I love that futuristic strange shape and if you saw any of my other videos I love building houses in strange shapes. I did an Arca shaped house for example and a jellyfish house and this whole idea of a waterfall shaped house it sounded very interesting and different to me so that's why I wanted to use this picture as an inspiration picture. I don't know anything about the architect or if, it, if it's even a real house. So if you know anything about it please let me know in the comments down below. I will pin your comments so everybody can see who the architect is for example. But of course that was the inspiration picture that was a huge help. I used roofs to, yeah, I wanted to combine them together, of course, to create that shape. And talking about combining roofs together, one of my favorite things to do while building in the game, I'm always talking about that method to remove walls underneath roofs, you know, with uh, sizing down doors and you want to raise them up then, blah, blah, blah. But that method doesn't work anymore, oh no. Last week there came an update for the game. Always when there's a new pack coming out for The Sims, there's an update before it. And with that update came, came something amazing. The uh, possibility to combine windows together just on one wall piece. Before that we couldn't combine windows that go together, always glitching out and now we can combine them together and of course that is amazing, that opens up a world of possibilities so I'm very very happy with that update. But it means that you cannot raise up size down doors anymore as well. You can, you can raise them up but yeah that whole method doesn't work that smooth anymore. No problem at all though, because I used that method already so much uh, before in other builds and it only meant that I had to yeah, come up with another solution and challenge myself a bit um, yeah, again. So not that bad for me, but if you want to try to recreate something like I did in previous videos, it doesn't work that good anymore. But I didn't use that method at all, of course, in this build. I just wanted to make it into an organic shape. It could almost look like an animal a little bit as well. And yeah, I just combined all these roofs together. I pulled out the eaves. I, um, I wanted to make sure that I still had enough uh, space for rooms underneath the roofs. So a lot of trial and error, but I love the process. When I was done with the shape that I wanted for the waterfall, you can see it right here. I chased up the lot and now I'm creating water underneath the different levels of the waterfall. I changed the lot because at this point in the process while well, I was done with the shape of the waterfall, of the house, I thought it would maybe be cool if I made it in a snowy world and of course I was building it in a desert world in Oasis Springs and you cannot make it snow over there. So that's why I decided to switch lots and while I was switching lots I decided to go for a bigger one. 64 by 64 again. <laughs> The previous one was 50 by 50, now this 64 by 64, like I said, just had way more space for the water everywhere and 
I knew I wanted to use a lot of new, very cool debug rocks that came with the Star Wars pack. I'm just going to call it the Star Wars pack now. This whole journey to the two is way too long. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to use a lot of rocks and I just had way more space over here. It's one of my favorite lots in the moment, um, at the moment. It's 64 by 64, like I already said two times. And it's in Brindleton Bay, the world that came with cats and dogs. I especially like it because you have that open ocean as a background. And I always think your builds pop a little bit more when you're building them on a lot with an open yeah, background, with an open sky. Over here, yeah, amazing debug item, new debug rock. Star Wars, the Star Wars pack came with so many cool new rocks in yeah, the debug section. These ones, um, I think there are two or three that I combined together over here. I wanted to go for that kind of spacey, futuristic look. These ones are new too, of course, because I switched to, yeah, to the snow here. You cannot see the color of the rocks. But there's some very cool rocks, or the color of the rocks that I just placed in. But there are some very cool rocks with green yeah, on them as well. And they're just amazing. I'm always happy with new debug rocks in the game. Because I love building on cliffs and on mountains as well. Of course, I could do this with other rocks as well, maybe a little bit more smooth rocks. But because they were new, I just wanted to use them in a build. I switched to the snow and yeah, very easy to do, of course. I just went to a live mode in winter and I waited for the snow. Of course, you got to have the seasons back for it. And it was a long, long time ago that I did a snow build and I loved it so much. It's totally different yeah, building especially when it comes to landscaping of course i always spend a lot of time on you have terrain paint as well normally but now i didn't have to do that because there was snow everywhere and that entire weather engine in the game it's so amazing it's so well made i think seasons is one of one of the best packs ever made for the game how the snow yeah, falls over the rocks or over the items that you're placing in. And when it's just snowing, it's just a thin layer of snow. And when you have two days of snow, it's a very thick layer of snow. Oh man, I love that in the game. This was kind of in the middle of the thick layer and the thin layer of snow. Of course, when you want to place in plants in the middle of winter, when it just snowed, Snowed? Is that? No, I think that's the very strange thing, mixture between Dutch and English. <laughs> but when it's snowing, snowy world, and you want to place in uh, plants, of course they look totally different during winter. And the plants that I use in this build, normally they are bright reds or kind of trees. And they came with the get to work pack. And maybe then you know the ones that I mean. And yeah, during the day I placed this build when I was finished, when I was done with it on a uh, lot just in the normal season during spring or something like it as well. And it looks kind of cool with the red too. But I especially like them uh, yeah, in this build with that snowy layer over them. I thought they looked kind of magical and I love that. A couple of minutes ago I placed all these blue crystals uh, yeah, over the rocks. I thought it gave it a more maybe magical, futuristic, spacey, alien effect combination of all these terms together. <laughs> these crystals, they're debug items too, and they came with the realm of magic pack. And normally I never use them, but for this yeah, fantasy, I think it's really a fantasy, just yeah, snow builds, I could really use them. The interior is not that fantasy though, but we will get into that in a couple of minutes. I'm making the pool a little bit bigger over here. I had to space so I could do it. I placed on the floor in the pool a very big rock. It's a stone slab, you can see it here. It came with island living and when I'm do when I'm placing in water in my builds, uh, when it's not just a pool, I always try to make it look as natural as possible. And I thought it looked a little bit more natural with these stone slabs on the ground. And of course, I place a lot of steam crates in the water again. I always do that, and I always think it makes 
yeah, my builds look way more realistic as far as these fantasy builds look realistic. I always think the water looks way more realistic and I think this is just a normal watercolor. No, it's a, that other, that, that little bit more blue watercolor. I think it came with get together. And of course, because the waterfall is frozen, the water, I wanted to make the water look kind of frozen as well. It was not really possible, but I wanted to yeah, give that frozen look a little, yeah, a little bit of a try. And I thought it looked way better with all these steam crates. Now I'm placing in stairs at the back of this build. Of course, a functionality, very important for this one. And I knew um, when I placed these stairs at the back of the build, you couldn't see them that good when I was taking the screenshots just at the front of the build. I wanted to make the stairs not that obvious, but I still wanted to place stairs in to make this build functional. Now we're on to the interior and the first item that I placed in immediately, one of my favorite items from the Star Wars Journey to Batu pack, that round bar, yay! <laughs> I'm always happy with new round items in the game. We're quite restricted in the game when it comes to yeah, round shapes, round walls for example, we don't have them. I'm really rooting for round walls in the future. When a trailer came for the new Star Wars pack, we saw these round buildings and I almost got a heart attack. I thought, yay, finally, round walls. No, it's just a debug item. <laughs> kind of disappointed. But I was very, very happy with that round bar. And of course you can place these um, yeah, two other sections of the round bar on it as well. And then you have the perfect circle. That's very cool. A lot of the items came in gorgeous colors, gorgeous metal colors. And I used the white the swatches a lot in this build. I wanted to go for a combination between a blue and white marble concrete color scheme. And I used a lot of the glowing floor tiles that came with the Spade pack as well. I wanted to make that combination between modern and industrial and futuristic in this interior. So it's quite different than what I normally do, especially because of these new items. But yeah, I love that in a kind of different style. That lamp, that hanging light above the table there, that's, that's just one of, I think, the six or seven different new hanging lights that came with the pack. These lights above the, the round bar came with the pack as well. But they're gorgeous hanging items with the new pack. And I talked about it during that Cliff Dream House that I did two weeks ago or something. I love hanging things on the ceiling in my builds. I always think it gives the builds, the house, the interior, a little bit more dimension. And this pack is amazing for it because there are a lot of yeah, other cool just hanging decorations for on the ceiling as well. This is the ba of the bathroom. This is the bedroom, but next to it will be the bathroom with that waterfall wall. Yeah, between it, I wanted to incorporate that waterfall theme on the exterior, in the interior as well. The other side, you can see a bathtub in a couple of seconds. There are lots of uh, the new items in this bedroom. Another hanging light as well. Some wall decoration. We're onto the bathroom already. I thought it was kind of cool to make that connection between the bedroom and the bathroom. That bathtub that I used, toilet too, and I think the sinks too. Yeah, the sinks too. They're all from Eco Lifestyle. And during the, yeah, building, creating this interior, I found out that the combination between Eco Lifestyle and the Star Wars pack, the items, so cool, such a different kind of futuristic style and they combined so well together and yeah, they're kind of made in the same yeah, way when you take a look at old items that we got with the base game for example or with the first packs some of the items are very very chunky and with the new packs like eco lifestyle tiny living 2 star wars 2 i think the items are very fine and well made. The new items with Star Wars, with the Star Wars packs, some of them are quite big, so yeah, almost chunky, but they're not really chunky, they're very fine made. 
For example, the bench that I just placed in the, yeah, the, the side table, if you will, or accent table. Yeah, all very fine made. We're on to the last rooms now, and second bathroom, a fitness room over there, and in the bottom of this yeah, waterfall will be a bathroom. And then we're on the end of this video. I'm very curious what you thought about this yeah, very strange and different build. I'm already working on my next build, it will be coming next Tuesday, and I promise you, it's even more strange than this one. <laughs> But I'm enjoying myself so, so, so much with that build. I'm very curious what you think about the new build and buy items that came with the new pack. Please let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't done that already. Please like this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I hope you will have an amazing day. End of this video, you can uh, see the house tour. I hope to talk to you next Tuesday. Yeah, well, goodbye.